Will the current comment from Michael Saylor be a major setback in the Ripple lawsuit against the SEC? Will the new partnership with JP Morgan to conquer UAE drive XRP price to $5? Besides, we will be looking at the staggering amount of XRP moved from Bittrex. And finally, the big question of the day, is XRP a security? If all this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is the first time you are watching one of our videos, we send you a special welcome. We invite you to click the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are going to announce that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To have the chance to participate, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment with the hashtag XRP. The winner will be announced on December 15th. John Deaton, the founder of CryptoLaw, has responded to MicroStrategy chairman and Bitcoin evangelist Michael Saylor's recent comments on XRP. Saylor stated on a Patrick Bed David podcast that the SEC should shut down Ripple, claiming that XRP and Ethereum are unregistered securities. The XRP community did not let the hurtful comments go unnoticed and responded to the MicroStrategy chairman's remarks. Deaton, who praised Saylor for being an MIT rocket scientist, chastised him for reaching such a conclusion about XRP. According to Deaton, labeling an asset as an investment contract or security necessitates specific factual and legal analysis. He went on to say that the MicroStrategy CEO did a great job on the show oversimplifying the Howey test, but he was wrong. Other XRP community members agreed with Crypto Law's founder that Michael Saylor was incorrect. It would not be the first time the XRP community had to dispel myths about Ripple and XRP. In response to similar incorrect assumptions, Ripple General Counsel Stuart Alderity stated that XRP has not been classified as a security because only the court has the authority to do so. The SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple and two of its executives in December 2020, alleging the sale of an unregistered security offering. The case would have far-reaching implications because it would establish a legal precedent while also determining the extent of the SEC's overreach. According to Stuart Alderity, the lawsuit is nearing its conclusion as summary judgment motions are now fully briefed and the judge's decision is awaited. According to James K. Fillon, the final decision on pending issues, including summary judgment motions, could come as early as March 2023. Ahead of the big ruling in the landmark lawsuit, the XRP community remains optimistic while crossing their fingers. One of Ripple Labs' strong partners in the UAE, Al Fardan Exchange, announced a partnership with Wall Street banking giant JP Morgan. Al Fardan is a licensed and regulated platform for money transfers and currency exchanges in the UAE. The two parties will collaborate to provide a same-day money transfer service for corporate customers in the UAE. As a result, Alfardan Exchange customers will have access to currencies such as the US dollar, sterling pounds, euros, South African rands, and others. The Alfardan Exchange announced a partnership with Ripple in January 2022 earlier this year. However, with Alfardan Exchange partnering with JP Morgan, there is a chance that both financial behemoths will look into Ripple services in the future. Ripple's XRP standard is one of the most sought-after solutions for cross-border settlements among global banking institutions. In the most recent development, ComBank, the largest financial conglomerate in Australia, announced that it would use Ripple's XRP and the ISO 20022 standard for cross-border payments. Ripple, a blockchain startup based in San Francisco, has been attempting to break into the global banking space as the industry shifts away from traditional solutions. Its blockchain-based RippleNet solution is already popular with over 200 financial players worldwide. Recently, Ripple expressed an interest in entering the trillion-dollar CBDC market. Central bank digital currencies have piqued the interest of major global economies. Ripple recently published its own CBDC white paper, which provides a comprehensive framework for implementing CBDC. Ripple believes that its XRP ledger can handle stablecoins and CBDC for billions of people around the world. It stated, the XRPL's built-in authorized trust lines feature also ensures that stablecoins and other issued tokens can only be held by accounts that the issuer themselves authorizes for an added layer of security. Furthermore, Ripple is forming strategic alliances with global banking institutions. 
According to Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, Bank of America is willing to use Ripple's on-demand liquidity products. They are, however, waiting for Ripple to resolve its court case with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. According to the Whale Alert cryptocurrency tracker, less than a dozen transactions totaling 4.124 billion XRP coins were spotted in the last day. According to the aforementioned source, all of these funds were transferred from the top U.S.-based cryptocurrency exchange Bittrex. The staggering total amount of XRP transferred here, however, appears to be more than just an individual withdrawing funds and was most likely made by a financial institution, unless Bittrex was acting as an XRP custodian for Upbit and is now withdrawing its Ripple-affiliated tokens, moving them to their own wallets. As previously stated, the Ripple fintech behemoth withdrew 1 billion XRP from escrow on December 1st. It was one of the numerous escrows established by the company in 2017 to begin regular monthly withdrawals in early 2018 to support the coin's liquidity on exchanges while also sending a portion to Ripple's partners and customers. This places the final release in the middle of this year, but Ripple continues to remove a billion XRP from escrow wallets on a monthly basis. Now, down to the big question of the day, is XRP a security? Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. The chaos in the crypto industry following the collapse of FTX has increased regulators' scrutiny of the entire industry. FTX was once the world's second largest exchange, and it brought down many small and large businesses with it. Globally, investors who had direct or indirect exposure to FTX lost billions of dollars. According to Reuters, Jeff Sprecher, CEO of Intercontinental Exchange, believes that regulators will treat most cryptocurrencies as securities. Gene Hoffman, the COO of Chia Network, believes that XRP tokens will be classified as securities by a federal judge. In a tweet, Gene Hoffman stated that Bill Hinman, a former director at the Securities and Exchange Commission, advised Ripple that its unregistered XRP distribution was illegal. In contrast, John Deaton shared his thoughts in a Twitter thread, refuting Hoffman's claims. Deaton is a lawyer who is a crypto enthusiast who is leading a class action lawsuit against the SEC. Under proper context, Bill Hinman's comments, according to John Deaton, have no meaning. Gene Hoffman thinks there is no distinction between XRP and LBC. The token of the decentralized content distribution platform LBRY. The SEC won a legal battle against LBRY last month, and LBC tokens were classified as securities. There are various narratives and opinions from industry experts regarding whether XRP is a security. Perhaps only time will tell which category XRP falls under. Obviously, we do think that is not a security at all. So we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.